Today on this episode, we're gonna be making these cool bumpers for your motors. It's a cool way of protecting your motor against damage. You know, you can't hit the motor at all. Um, and simple, easy, adds a little bit of weight to your copter, but I personally like some weight. I like my copter to be able to fall from 50 feet to 10 feet really fast. I don't want to wait for it to float out of the air when I'm trying to get through a pylon or something, so. I came up with this design at work. It's just an easy design. I made it in paper and uh, basically we're just gonna fold this up. This is a piece of ABS plastic. Um, took the design, drew it onto the plastic with my marker. Um, took a razor knife and scarred the, the edges and then pried it with a pair of pliers. It's super simple. Can, can be a little bit pain in the butt, you know, you'll probably get some weird bends, you know, a little bit here and there. But that's okay, because we're gonna be melting it, so. I'm not worried about that. Um, so once you've got them cut to this, you know, and basically all I did was line up the plastic with about the, you know, the outsides of the motor so that, you know, I give it enough room and then I gave it enough room that way for it to sit in the tray. So this is basically the box tray and this is going to be the fold around. So we're going to heat it here and then we're going to heat it here and a little bit here and a little bit here and bend it all the way around. So it's super simple. Uh, I'll show you right now. So I want this to be actually the outside. So I'm actually going to be heating the inside a little bit. So we just do that, do that. The more you keep the, the flame moving, the less burn marks you get when you do work with ABS. So as much as it doesn't look like I've done much, watch. Boom. Wow. Okay, so that's the first move. That basically is our mount that is going to go right here. And then when we're done with this piece, we're gonna flip this over and this over and we're gonna draw that template on this so that we can drill that out so that we can have our exact template of our cutout. So it'll be real simple to work with. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to heat this plastic on the inside and on the outside okay it's ready so check it out it's a little warm so just be careful don't burn yourself dang so you're gonna get that set up. And honestly, you wanna have your motor right there, but as I'm seeing it, I'm getting this thing to about the same exact diameter as that one, but I wanna push that in right there, right as it starts to dry, because when it starts to get dry, you can really make the fine tunes because at first it's so hot you can't really touch it. But basically, that's it. So then we're gonna take it, put the quad over, because we wanna have it centered on this to where we have enough room for the motor not to hit this outside. We're gonna do that. Space it evenly. Get a little gap on both sides. And we're gonna just mark out. Now, if you're worried about the marker, I'm really not, because with a little bit of um, brake cleaner or a little bit of rubbing alcohol, we usually take that right off. But now, see, and it smudges too, so you can use something easier, but you can get the rough estimate of where you're gonna be drilling at. And on this motor, two of the, uh, two of the actual um, screws are closer, and two of these are wider. 
So you got to be careful and just kind of drill them out, I guess, a little bit on each one. I use a step drill so that I won't drill through my through my my uh, countertop. Gets caught on the you know the first step so that it doesn't just blow through. So that's that hole. There's a center one. Okay, that's going to be your center hole for your motor. Okay, and then it's looking like motors are coming out. And it's going to be flipped that way. So these two motors are going to be closer. And motor holes, I'm sorry. So I'm going to just, I'm just going to do it just a small hole just to get us started so I can see where I'm at because then I take my other bit and I can actually just of the same size and just drag it in the plastic and it'll actually cause it to make that long hole so I'm really not too concerned that the holes are exact because with a little bit of finesse you can basically make them line up um, that's what I love about this ABS stuff, is it's super simple to work with. Um, and voila! There you go. You got your holes drilled. This, as much as they're not lined up, I will do fine tuning once I'm actually getting my motors in. But I actually blew a motor because I... Well, it didn't blow up. It, uh... It shorted out because one of the leads on the inside came apart so when I crashed so I had to make these because I wanted to make sure that my motors were protected on impact so that's it super easy to make um, I'm gonna repeat that four times and be done all right so when you're done you come out with four of them pretty much I took a motor and just kind of you know once I made the design in there I kind of had to look at it and make sure that the you know the holes were lining up and I had to kind of oblong some of them but they don't have to be exact they just have to be good enough for the screws to go through because it's just going to be pressured between you know it's going to be between the motor and the uh, carbon fiber so that's it pretty simple build um, it's only taken me what 20 minutes to do this at the most so thank you guys have a great day man